It's Walden, I tell you. Don't be dick, Braun. Everyone knows Odin leads the wild hunt. Eivor, who leads the wild hunt? Odin, why? I was explaining to him the way of Oscar Ape. This one wants to turn it into a pageant. Not a pageant, a parade. I was thinking some of us could dress up like gods from both lands. Maybe you could lead it, Eivor. Oscorea isn't a celebration. It's when the veil between the worlds grows thin and the dead will haunt us if we don't honor them. True. And they say the gods come to Midgard to hunt. Not just beasts, but men also. They wouldn't be wise to draw their attention. You are wise to be wary of the gods' wrath, Dane. <laughs> but it's not by hiding that you'll evade the wild hunt. I told you not to pester the locals, uncle. Have you been in the herds again? Don't patronize me, you little shit! And you will call me Brother Maxwell like everyone else! No one calls you that. I've seen you around planting your smoking pots everywhere. The whole village smells like a seer's hut. Those pots are placed where the fabric of the veil is weakest. Letting us perceive unseen threats before they are upon us. I'm sorry, Eivor. He shows up like this without warning. I told him he could stay with me while he's here. They're right to offer hospitality. And we should mark the Wild Hunt in some way. It's a source of fear for people of both faiths. And how do you think we should mark Oscorea, Eivor? With tests of skill and strength. Like Tyrus archery range. Show the hunt, they'll find no easy prey here. Swinta is setting up another event since her last tournament was so successful. Good. Tell her we'll use it, not to celebrate, but to prepare for the wild hunt. Tell her yourself. You're the one leading this preparation. Me? I didn't. And be sure to visit Goodman's homage to the dead. Or didn't you notice the ship in the middle of the settlement? I noticed the ship. Good. May Odin's wisdom guide you. So no parade. I have a better job for you, Bronn. You'll be the judge of whose actions will impress the gods. You'll be the keeper of the tokens. I will be the best judge you have ever seen, Eivor. Go see Novid about the tokens. Tell him I sent you, and I'll come find you later. My herbs let us see the invisible. But it's you, as leader, who must cross the veil and discover the mysteries of the Nether Realm. <sighs> I never said I was leading. Maybe I should have let Braun have his parade. Tales of Svatalheim hold some other meaning. Perhaps I should warm my bones by the fire. Gather my thoughts for a moment. You'll need to do some fine deed before helping yourself to those tokens. I was testing your vigilance, Braun. Well spotted. So, you got the tokens from Novit? Yes, and he gave me a basket to keep them in. But he didn't seem very happy about letting me give them out. He created the tokens and enjoys handing them out himself. But he'll be happy enough when people cash them in. So what do I do? Well, when someone offers a show of courage or a, an act of respect towards the dead, they are rewarded with tokens. All right, I see. So when they tell me of these things, I let them take from the basket. Whatever they think fair. Well, you might want to make certain rules, or at least check their claims. I won't need to. I am a good judge of character. Yeah, uh, we'll see how that works out. Novit, I'm glad to see you back. Really? Then why did you send Braun to confiscate all my tokens? I'm sorry, Novit. I should have asked you first. Braun was disappointed we're not having a parade, so... Relax, Eivor. I'm just having fun at your expense. 
Now, would you like to see my fall collection? Let's see what you have. I'll see you later, friend. Always a pleasure. Good day to you, Alwyn. Ah, good day, Eivor. I hear you've taken charge of the Fall Festival. <laughs> I look forward to, uh, what do you call it again? Oscorea. I wouldn't say I'm in charge. I just talk to people. <laughs> oh, don't be so modest. I'm sure you're playing a greater role than you realize. Um, by the way, you'll want to keep a close eye on Braun's uncle. He's been leaving flaming pots everywhere. I know. He's a strange one. He may even be mad, but I don't think there's evil in his heart. Oh, I, I'm not suggesting any malicious intent, but Braun did mention he once burnt down a church. <laughs> Accidentally, of course. Oh. And a short while ago, I saw him heading towards the edge of the forest with an armload of kindling. He'll set the forest ablaze. Where can I find him? Follow the smoke. within, and seek clarity through your inner eye. I didn't think I spoke those thoughts aloud. I know what it's like to stand on the threshold of another world. I think you grow drunk on your own fumes. Do you think it mere chance that brought you here? No. No near. Leave little to chance. Then open your mind to the worlds beyond our own, as the veil that hides them is pulled away. What would you have me see? It's not about my desires, but yours. What do you seek? I seek to protect my people from the wild hunt. You'll need to cross the veil. Face your greatest fear. Meet your own worst enemy. Greatest fear? It'll take more than herb-induced visions to terrify me. of the dead, the shot may wander this netherworld. There is a force here, invisible. So mad after all. Is 
Stand aside, spirit. I come for the rune. I do not wish to add to your grief. This spirit could be my twin. It's eyes. Only one Eivor will walk away. joy at having vanquished it. That fight was more tiring than I thought. I grow weak. Tira, we need an archery challenge to test our skills. This range tests a hunter's sense to know when to shoot and when not to shoot. When does a hunter not shoot? Imagine we're hunting together. You step on a branch and I shoot without thinking. What do you think happens? I take your point. In this contest, archers score points for hitting the right targets and lose points for hitting the wrong ones. Seems straightforward. There's also a time limit to make it more challenging. You want to give it a shot? Hand me a bow. Start on my mark! Begin! I could do better. We have a champion. Eivor! 
good to see you. Some of our people are anxious about the wild hunt. I want to raise their courage through contests of skill and bravery. I have the very thing! I want to recreate the chaos of battle! Our warriors will fight within the fog of war! You mean the smoke? Uh, did a monk bring those braciers? Yes, he said something about a veil I did not understand, but I find they add to the experience in surprising ways. How do you mean? I don't want to spoil it for you. Besides, it affects everyone differently. Would you like to give it a try? I'll give it a try. One. Well done. But I think I'll make it more challenging. Come back when you're ready for another round. Hello, Swinda. 
Welcome back, Eivor. Do you want to fight? Let's fight. Good. Choose your gear. Challenge me. That gear has limited room for rations. Make it count. Well done. But I think I'll make it more challenging. Come back when you're ready for another round. Hello, Swinda. Welcome back, Eivor. Do you want to fight? Let's fight. Good. Choose your gear. 
Let's make things interesting. This will increase your strength, but lower your defenses. Your gear served me well. 
It's only as good as the warrior who wears it. Here's your reward. Hello, Ake. I didn't know you were fond of horses. I'd rather deal with a horse than an ass. I'm not here to trade barbs, Ake. I've come to see what you're preparing. A challenge, Eivor. A true test of equestrian skill. There will be barriers to break, targets to hit, and a time limit. <laughs> I thought you said it would be a challenge. <laughs> It will require equal measures of skill, speed, and control. You think you have what it takes? Give me a moment to mount. Why so quiet, Ake? Where is the lash of your wit now? I am silenced by your show of skill. You may claim the full prize.
You do enjoy building your ships, Gudmund, even if they're not going anywhere. Hmm. I see people have been carving the names of the dead onto the hall. Hake, Asa, Aslog. These are names I haven't heard since my youth. We lost many on that evil night. Sven, a big man with a fine touch. He left his mark on many of us. Dag, a fighter until the end. I wouldn't call him a good man, but his bravery could not be denied. There are my parents. Rasta. She traded her life for her child. I will make sure it was worth it. Varen. He gave his life to the Raven Clan. May the gods honor his sacrifice. That is for the old father to judge. Strange. This name has no message to honor it. Kaf. It's not a name I know. Goodmund, do you know someone named Kaf? No. It's the one name not carved into the wood, only scribbled in charcoal. Did you see who wrote it? Maybe. Someone I didn't know came by earlier. Limping and staggering, like he was on his lost legs. Didn't see his face. And you didn't speak to him? He didn't speak to me. He went that way, if you're interested. I don't like unanswered questions so close to home. If this stranger was lame, he couldn't have gotten far. Tira, did you see a man limp past? I did. He was heading north of the Longhouse. Cold dust. He placed his hand here. Maybe leaned on it for support. saw the attack from across the West River. If not for my warning, they'd all be dead. He was a lookout on the West River. There must be some place with a better view. smoke from a small fire. Is that where the poor wretch may camp? Sweetly sour smoke. If the monk 
strong smoke can let me see the unseen. Perhaps it will reveal something of the dead man's fate. Now that I've uncovered Calf's tail, I'll write it on Goodman's ship. Across the veil with the help of your herfs. I saw through Calf's eyes and learned his tale.
Calf saved his people, and we'll be on it. What do you see when you look into the veil? To see what I see would drive you mad. Ask not about my visions, and I will not ask after yours. Calf saved his settlement. Altum acceptamentum alpha to liquidia domino. Sic natura unis pia et pis un simula natura. Sed ic quod et naturae nisis deus manifestat arbitrarium. A rune of protection paid in blood is drawn upon our longhouse. A wrong has been righted, giving peace to our dead. You have really risen to the occasion, Eivor. Come claim your full reward. I've done what I can to prepare for this day. It is now for the gods to judge, and for the fates to decide. The Grim Rider approaches! All falls into place. The pattern comes into focus. Does it now? A rune of protection writ large on the longhouse. The restless put to rest. And a people prepared for the hunt. I think you're less mad than you let on, monk. But I have to disappoint you. There'll be no hunt. Will there not? Even now, Powerful forces gather. We're not out of the woods yet. The gods are angry. I'll never doubt you again, Uncle. Did we do something wrong? What does this mean? The wild hunt. Everyone, listen. Wild Hunt will not come for us this night. How do you know that? Because I've seen the courage and skill of our people. We've come together, Norse and Saxon alike, to meet great challenges. And because I know that when people are united and strong, they earn the respect of the gods! No! Ah! Hello, Novit. Eivor, how can I help you? Let's see what you have. Well, friend. Always a pleasure.
What have you got for me today? You like the looks of that one? My pieces are good. That's what very good. I do good work, I must say. I must be on my way now. Goodbye.